Hey everyone, welcome back to Web Coding. So in this video, we are going to solve a new question, which is next greater element to the right. So what we are given is you are given a number n representing the size of array a, and we are given n numbers representing elements of array a. What we are required to do, we are required to do, uh, we are required to find the next greater element on the right for all elements of array. So what is the next greater element on the right? It is the it is defined as the first element to write of x having value greater than x. So we have to note one thing that if an element does not have any element on its right side greater than it, consider minus one as its next greater element on right. Okay. So next up we are given an example. Let's analyze this example. What we have, we're given this array, right? Then what we will we'll make an answer array next greater element to the right okay it will store our answer what should come in front of this like for the last element there is no element on the right so of course it will minus one will come as per the question so now eight will check for seven with seven so seven is smaller there is no element greater than eight to its right six will check with eight 8 is greater, 8 is the first greater element to its right, so 8 will come in the answer. Now 12 will check with 6, now it will check with 8, it will check with 7. There is no greater element to its right, so minus 1 will come to its answer. Now 1 will check with 12, okay, so it is greater, so 12 will be the answer. 3 will check with 1, it is smaller, then we'll check with 12, then 12 with the answer 9 will check with 3 3 will check with 1 1 will check with 12 so uh, 9 will check with 12 9 will check with 3 9 will check with 1 9 will check with 12 so 12 will be the answer 5 will check with 9 so 9 will be the answer 2 will check with 5 5 is greater than 2 so 5 will be the answer so this is what we were required to do okay so now what we can do is for this this was the brute force approach in which we were traversing the whole array and we're checking and comparing each and every element with the last of the right because we were not getting it so for but this takes the work of like for the worst case um thing what we have it will take the time of o of n square the main challenge to do this question is that we have to do this question in o of n time complexity right so how we can do this let's see so we'll use the stack data structure and let's take an example Okay, let's give them the names A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So J will not be checked and minus 1 will come here in the answer, right? And J will be pushed to the stack. Okay, so I will check with the top of the stack. So if J is greater, if the top of the stack is greater than I, then of course J will be the answer and we will push I in the stack. Now H will check with I if I is greater than H or not. I is smaller than H. Then we'll pop it out. Pop I out. And now it will check with J. If J is greater than H, of course J will be the answer and H will be pushed into the stack. Next, G will check with the top of the stack which is H. H is greater, H will be the answer. F will, G will be pushed into the stack. F will check with G. G is greater, G will be the answer. F will push itself. 
now e e will check with the top of the stack which is f f is smaller pop it out right now it will check with g g is also smaller pop it out now it will check with h so e is greater than h so it pop it out now it will check with j j is greater j will be its answer and push e into the stack d will check with e the top of the stack it is smaller pop it out okay now it will check with the top of the stack which is j j is smaller pop it out now d will pop d will push into the stack and minus 1 will come into the answer because uh, the greatest element is d and there is no one greater to the next of it in the right of course now c will check with d if d is greater than c yes it is d will come to the answer and c will be pushed b will check with c b is greater c is smaller pop it out now b will be pushed to the stack first it will be checked with d d is greater d will be the answer and push b into the stack now a will get checked with b b is greater b will be the answer and uh, a will be pushed into the stack so this is how our answer uh, the required answer is here we got it by the use of the data structure known as stack so let's see how we can code this right so we are given a function solve and the return time type is integer of arrays so let's do it first we will make an array of int type ngr equals to new int array dot length size will be array dot length next we'll make a stack sg equals to new stack right next sg dot push array of array dot length minus one right next ngr array dot length minus one equals to minus one because there is no element greater than the last element on the, on the right because there is no element which exists on on its right right now we'll start up with a for loop from backward for int i equals to array dot length minus two i should be greater than equal to zero i minus minus right next while st dot size is greater than zero and and array of i is greater than equal to st dot peak what we'll do we'll pop that element out okay we'll come to the next condition if st dot size equals to equals to zero right ngr of i will be equals to minus one okay else ngr of i will be equals to st dot peak right else is done now we'll push now we'll push the elements into the stack array of i 
right done we'll return ngr let's see if this code is correct or not or we get any error okay so accepted let's submit this So after this, we'll so correct answer. So after this, uh, we'll talk about its time complexity, how it is doing its work in O of n. Like if we take there's a for loop and there's a while loop. Now you'll think that uh, if you have for then while, it will take O of n square time complexity. But it's, but it's not happening. As we are traversing the array from behind, what is happening? The elements in the stack are pushed one time, then they are popped one time only. No element is pushing and popping two times or more than one time. So of course, it is only pushing one time and popping out, uh, popping out only one time. So, this will take o of n time only not o of n square so i hope i'm clear with the concept of the time complexity it will take o of n time complexity only so i hope i was clear with the concept and thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you so much